Well, it's time for an Ask Paul question. And this one is from Kathy Konetsky. And Kathy asks, hi, Paul. I was wondering when the best time to trim a pyrocanther and a rose of Sharon uh, back. Enjoy your segments on Home and Backyard. Well, thank you very much. So pyrocanther, those are the almost evergreen shrub that get covered in beautiful orange red berries. And I have to say they're, they're not the easiest plant to grow. So it sounds like you've been successful. Um, basically, if you cut the flowers off, the flower buds of the spring, you won't have the red berries. So I would let the plant flower and then carefully cut away, leaving enough um, dying flowers or the flower fruit that will be the red berries in the fall. And I would do that uh, a couple of late spring when they flower on that one. Rose of Sharon, though, is a different thing. A lot of the old fashioned Rose of Sharon uh, produce lots of flowers and have lots of seed heads. And if you don't cut those seed heads off, you're gonna have hundreds of them all over your yard. Um, so I do, after it's finished flowering in the winter, I just trim uh, the seed heads off and put them somewhere else. Those ones that do seed everywhere. The ones that are sterile that don't, uh, I don't really worry too much about them. But because they flower late in the season, uh, they're flowering August, September, um, you can prune them in the spring and the new growth that comes from that will produce flowers. So I can actually cut them quite hard during the winter or spring and you'll be surprised how nicely they flower later in the year. So uh, Kathy, I hope that answers the questions and thank you very much for sending it in. We'll see you next time on Home and Backyard.